Hi, I'm Brian Garner. Welcome back to Speedball's how-to series on screen printing. The next thing you want to do to prepare your screen for printing is actually line the interior of your screen with tape just on the edges. You want half the tape to go on your screen and the other half of the tape to go on the wooden frame of your screen. And this is just going to keep things clean for when you go to print and ink cannot travel between the screen and the frame. So we're actually just making a little barrier there to ensure that everything stays nice and clean during printing. And you're going to see when I flip this screen over that we're just going to make sure that um, any open screen has been covered by tape. And right now it looks like we're good. We don't need to prepare any tape on the outside. Our drawn image, uh, or actually our uh, screen filler was squeegeed wide enough. For those of you who did not squeegee it wide enough and still have open screen toward the edges, just simply get tape and mask those areas out. Now one thing I like to do um, when I am printing with a screen is um, actually print off contact. And you're like, well, what does that mean? Well, basically off contact means when I screen print, I'm going to have an inkwell um, and a bead of ink, and I'm actually going to pull this squeegee across. What happens is the mesh tends to want to stick to whatever you're printing on. And you actually want the screen to kind of pop up a little bit. So when you have pressure on your mesh, you're going to feel a little dip. And that little dip um, actually is pushing the screen down while you pull the ink across the image area. And uh, you want that screen to pop back up. And so what I like to do is just tape a single coin. The nickels are good because they're a little compact and um, they're just like a perfect height for it. So right now, even though this is laying on a flat surface, I can actually push the screen a little bit and uh, visually watch it kind of bounce back up. And that's what you're going to want. And um, when you're printing t-shirts uh, or paper, um, if you look at the previous video, we talked about registration with paper. Uh, when we're doing shirts, um, it's kind of like a uh, sort of a, a visual and sort of a guess. Depends on what kind of graphic you have. Usually the rule of thumb is you take three fingers and then start your uh, graphic image on your t-shirt, but it's your shirt and you choose exactly where you want your graphic to go. We'll continue the process in the next video.